Anybody out there have a stack of event tickets just kind of hanging around? Why do we do this? These things yellow over time. They're just going to eat up space, yet we hang on to them. Why? Because they are triggers to a memory of a moment in time where we were happy and we really enjoyed our day. What else is about time? Well, clocks. Clocks are about time. Boom, then it hit me. That's what I'm gonna do with the tickets. I'm going to make a ticket stub clock. Let's figure that one out. Okay. This project feels simple. I have a plan and I should be able to knock it out seamlessly. Grab the stack of aged tickets and a circular piece of plain wood. Add some paint just in case I miss a spot. Can't have bare wood showing after all. Use the ever trustworthy Mod Podge to apply the tickets to the wood. Consideration was used in placement of the tickets. The most important information that I want visible is obviously the name of the event. I used tiny pieces of duplicate tickets to fill any gaps that might expose my carefully painted wood beneath it, absolutely negating my previous painting step. Oh boy, there it is. The first step to a snowball effect leaving me chasing solutions to save the clock. It seemed like a good idea at the time, although now I cringe watching my poor judgement unfold. I thought the event names would stand out better if I sharpied over them. It looked plausible until I missed one important step. Can you see it? Are you yelling at me yet? I didn't fully seal my handiwork. I figured a sharpie is so very permanent and needs no additional help in staying where it's placed. I was wrong. Of course, I'm blissfully unaware of my error until the resin pour, which I happily completed thinking to myself, geez, this is going to be great. I love it when my plans come together and work seamlessly. Uh-huh. Overconfidence just loves to slap me in the face when I'm crafting, doesn't it? I swear, if it had a persona, I would be the brunt of its jokes and the source of its entertainment. Let's get a good look at the smudgy words and areas of risen stains now showing through the face of my coveted ticket stub clock. My biggest disappointment here is that these tickets are irreplaceable. Tickets like these are a thing of the past in almost all events now. We're digital so this hurt. My frustration and disappointment quickly turns into determination. I tried erasing it with my Dremel. Yes, I did. Acetone too. Guess what? Didn't work. So I'm stuck with it. I have to accept it and I have to forge forward. This is no longer simple. I need to come up with a plan to step it up a notch. Well, there it is. My first idea. Make it shine. There's some gold leaf going on the edges. I'm no good at putting gold leaf on. This was such a frustrating process for me. It took me forever. I had it everywhere. In the end, I think it helped, although it's not my favorite thing. But now there's some bling on there drawing your eye away from my boo-boos. So there's that. Ideas on how to fix it are all a buzz in my mind. I've learned if I don't fix the thought by actually doing what's in my mind I'll go slightly crazy I gotta follow through with this if this is this is a literal art attack what you're looking at here is a sheet of acrylic that I rushed out to the store to pick up because I had the idea that geez that would look nice behind it so I'm gonna use my X tool I'm gonna cut out a circle I'm gonna throw the mechanism in there and I will have a nicer looking clock than what I had planned on originally my acrylic would have been really nice as the back circle. I tried cutting it. I tried cutting both sides. You can see that it's scored, but clearly my X tool won't go through this thickness. So I lost that battle and uh, moved on to my next plan, which was why not get a nice piece of wood. So we're gonna push forward and I'm gonna make this clock. The new disappointment with the failure of the acrylic injects another healthy dose of determination and creativity into my veins. As I'm drilling the holes that are needed for the clock mechanism, I have the idea to use vinyl and add the names of the tickets in a circle along the circumference of the white backboard. That's something I can easily create in Cricut Design Space, and I need a boost to my confidence at this point, especially after I test fit the clock mechanism and discovered that the shaft isn't long enough for my new design. That will require another trip to the store. Fun. I am trying to use up the vinyl that I have in my stock, um, which at this point is quite a bit. So 
Uh, let's take a look and see what would work. Oh look, I've got a helper. The window's open, so it's bringing the wild things in. Dixie, what you doing, babe? Well, we gotta pick vinyl, what do you think? Hi, Monty. Are you gonna help too? Okay, all right. I'm really wanting blue to kind of bring this blue out here because there is already quite a bit of gold and I don't even really like this too much. Let's see what that one would look like. What do you think? I think I like that. Yes, a bit of a break here as I'm back in the familiar territory of working with my Cricut and vinyl again. I can't say it was an easy process as the vinyl refused to weed smoothly and even fought the application process one tiny letter at a time, causing me to want to turn the wooden piece into a frisbee more than once. I don't know why this project is being so difficult. It was born with the best intentions and came from a place of fun memories. Uh, this is really starting to come together, but now I have to figure out how I'm going to stick these things together. I am thinking about adding LED lights uh, in between these two pieces of wood, kind of like a backlight situation. Here's my small victory. I found some bolts, nuts, and spacers. I brought the drill. It's getting real now. Once the holes were drilled, it took me a few practice runs to get the spacing right. I've never worked with bolts and spacers before, and it, there was some learning involved, but I eventually managed to work it all out. And despite my desire to press on, my tools weren't up to the party. <laughs> Battery's dead. That's fun. Okay, it's break time. I think you've suffered through this appearance long enough. So let me go have a shower and fix this and charge that and I'll be back. All right, I'm back. Everything's done. I managed to get these two connected. Ah. I did want to have them connected so that I could have a good visual um, for where I'm going to be putting the numbers. Uh, so that's what's next. Let's use this vinyl, the leftover from the other stuff. I'm kind of getting excited at this point. I'm going to see what it actually will look like. It's so close. I'm almost there. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm not happy. That's unreadable. Like I can't read the time. <sighs> So I'm gonna pull those off. I'll have black numbers with gold behind it. Changing the color of the vinyl wasn't as easy as it looks here. Metallic vinyl isn't easy to work with. It would tear where it wasn't cut and it wouldn't weed where it was. It tried my patience again. It took me some time, but I'm glad that I did. It looks so much better. The LED strips have arrived and the pack I got was pretty simple. It had three strips in it, which was exactly what I needed. I could hardly believe my luck. The clock shaft was an issue because it wasn't quite long enough. So I decided to insert the clock mechanism as deep as I could into the back by chiseling out a perfect hole for it to sit in. Then I used my Dremel to drill into the resin at the front to help the nut grab hold. Problem solved. Installing the lights took a little bit of planning. I decided to use hot glue as the adhesive because I installed them standing on their side with the LED lights in a circle facing outward. I utilized tiny nails to help stand the lights up on their side and when they were glued, I just pulled the nails out. I drilled holes through the wood to allow the LED clips to go all the way through to the back. With the wires pulled neatly to the back, I repeated the process. And now we're done. I'd like to thank my stubbornness and my determination to see this thing through. The clock is done, folks. I set off on this creation journey thinking it would be a fun, simple, and useful way to display our ticket stubs. I did not foresee the issues I ran into, but looking at the finished product leaves me thankful that I had these issues. Having to find solutions to my problems led to some embellishments that I hadn't even considered. I think if everything went as planned, my ticket stub clock would be pretty boring compared to what I ended up with here. It's a great reminder to accept issues as they arrive. They can lead us to a place that we didn't think of going before. And life has a way of knowing more than we do. Thanks for watching everybody. Please consider supporting my channel with a like and a subscribe. 
It would mean a lot to me. Thank you to my current subscribers and welcome to my new people. I'm excited to have you. I look forward to growing and sharing with you all. That's all for me, guys. I'll see you in the next video.